So welcome back to part two. Uh, we will start the next row by making those three stitches and connecting them. So again, this is the length of my stitch. This is one. Extending, connecting, always connecting with the single crochet I made three and this is the one part of my square like that so I will connect this right here make a single crochet Each stitch in the middle, you will always have two uh, side of your square, so you need only two stitches to complete that square. So again, I will make one. to find my next connection and you always want to be sure you have square so you will not connect here you will skip that you it's kind of like very geometric um, stitch because you're making squares but technically you're making triangle and my last connection of stitches in this row will be, again, I have one, so I need three more. Two. And three. And we find our next not to make a square so you're going anywhere between those stitches because those are knots so they look nice when they're tangled <laughs> and you make a single crochet and that's the next row down so again I'm ending here i have to bring my hook all the way to the next loop so i just made one more stitch acting with single crochet also you can start from the bottom but i did not do that because i really don't know how much rows i can make from this one ball and I don't want to be um, in a situation where I still need to make five more rows to have a tip of my triangle and be out of yarn. Again, in the, on the, each edge you will add three stitches together because you already have one. Then in the middle you already have two so you will connect only two, you have already two, you connect only two, and in the end you connect three. Let me know if you have any challenges with this project. Again, I have two, three, four, connecting to this knot. This is where we started. And this is our triangle growing very lacy shawl. I will leave you now because each row will be exactly the same and only what you have to remember is to in the beginning you have to make three loops to connect to the next one. In the middle you already have two loops so you connect only two and in the end again three and you flip. Each time you starting new row, you have to bring that yarn up again. 
I believe you can be independent now. I want to show you one more important thing why we have to kind of always count squares. With Solomon Stitch, and I make this mistake on purpose here just to show you, you see that I connected extra and this stitch is a little like star. That's not what you want. You want each stitch to have four loops together because your love knot is four loops together. So this is no, no. Uh, you can also use this stitch making those beautiful flowers, but with this project is not what we're doing right now. We wanna have only squares and going up, making our triangle from the tip of the triangle to the bottom of the triangle. I hope this is helpful information for you and you can use it as well. And this is correct way. That's how it's supposed to look like. You, you have knots, Solomon stitch knots connecting only four loops together. And this is so far how it looks like. You always end your row lower and you have to remember once you finish your row, you have to bring that loop up back again to start the new row. But it's a very simple, fast working stitch. It does not use a lot of yarn and uh, it looks beautiful. So let me know if you try this and thank you. Happy crocheting.